Oh, bye then. <laughs> Lola, I pressed record and you disappeared. She knows, doesn't she? Hi guys, and welcome to this week's vlog. I'll have Spritey instead. Look where I am. Happy and Tuesday, guys. Happy Tuesday, M says, for those that you, of you that have had, had your notifications on and are watching it on the day. Well done, high five to you. Whether it's morning. High five to you, thumbs up. High five, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, random, spontaneous start to a vlog. So I've just come over to Emily's house. Wasn't actually doing much this weekend, were we? No, you're having an Insta break. I'm having an Insta break, so I'm not actually using my phone at all. Shock. Hence, have you deleted the app? No, I haven't deleted the app. But you've moved it? No? You haven't opened it at all? Yeah, liar, liar. I'm just not posting. <laughs> I've still been a bit nosy. Are you still scrolling? <laughs> no, I've, I've had a look at a few of the top stories that come up across the top, just to make sure I'm not missing out on too much, you know. A full on break would be a bit, that'd be a bit much to ask. So some of you may have seen on our stories that we had a ride with Verena, AKA Girl About The Yard earlier in the week. And she has taken the whole month of September. Yeah, no, I mean, no, 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 of August. Yeah, off okay. of Instagram. She's back in September. She's coming back in September with a vengeance. Um, and yeah, it did just make me realise a little bit, actually, don't always need to be constantly thinking about what to post next. <laughs> so I decided after her, we the had is, dinner. We used to post because we wanted to post. Yes. And I think you fall into that trap of going, oh, I haven't posted anything You feel you've today. got to. I need to get something posted when actually... You don't need to, and I no, think that's not what always. we need to try. Bring the fun back into it. Da, 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 da. It's fun don't anyway, it but it's just fun. a bit, like you feel a bit of pressure to post. Pay pressure to yes. post. And I'm sure a lot of you can also relate to that. So I have told myself that anything I film this weekend is on my GoPro so that I don't get then tempted to share it on my phone, onto Instagram or, yeah. yeah. Basically so that my phone is not in my hand as often as it normally is, because I will not even admit to you what my screen time usage is. No, we will not. We discovered it the other night in front of Rob, I must add, and you should have seen his face drop. Yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good, it wasn't good. So just, ah, I had a fly on me. Just using the phone, fly spray on me. <laughs> It's fine, it's made of all natural ingredients. It won't poison me. <laughs> Whew, there that we go. It was quite refreshing, actually. Yeah, it, it was, actually. Can you do my back, too? <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Finally, Cornwall has caught up with the weather that the rest of the world has been having. And um, we have got... Let me just show you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Almost 30 degrees and sunshine. It is lovely. Hence, we are over here, stood in the shade, giving Spritey a bit of a... De-hairing, because Sprite has decided she wants her winter coat already. So M is using my thing that I've shown, thing. <laughs> Technical terminology for this. Yeah. I know, I was trying to come around, I was like, there's no room for me. She is using the KM Elite strip hair. She's using it the wrong way round, I will add, but like that, push it away from you. Ah, not, yeah. There we go to get out some of the hair that Sprite desperately wants to shed. She doesn't know, because the weather is changing so much and she's a bit older, she doesn't know whether she wants to go summer coat, winter coat, summer coat. Oh, got it. Um, Let me guess, we sprayed one side and not the other? Maybe. <laughs> Good girl, Sprite. <laughs> right, so yes, as we said, wasn't really doing a lot this weekend. Oh, We've got some important... Realise I'm still facing you, me. <laughs> Another little reason for taking a slight social media detox this weekend was as much as we massively do appreciate and acknowledge your guys' lovely kind comments, it is sadly always the negative, the odd negative one, which are very few and far between, thankfully, that hits a nerve and makes you feel... It makes like, you question why you do it sometimes, it's like doesn't it? It's like the dislike button for you. Yeah, it's like the dislike button. I uh, <laughs> Tina gets awfully upset by the dis dislike button. I wish YouTube didn't have it, if I'm fair, if I'm fair, if I'm honest. Um, but you do look at the fact that it's probably, what, maybe 4%? That's being quite hard, high, to be honest. Yeah. Probably not even that. Yeah. But if you scored a 70% in a dressage test, you would be over the moon. So why <laughs> you, you wouldn't focus on the 30% that was bad. Exactly. <laughs> very true. Very good way of looking at it. So, yeah, you are. <laughs> it's fine. The hair's coming out. Who cares? Yeah. It's doing its job. 
Yes, definitely important to remember to focus on the positives rather than the negatives. And that is why I was like, right, don't let that one negative comment upset you. Switch off, take a bit of chill time, have a bit of pony fun in the sun, which is epic. Because yeah, exactly. Because Cornwall has not, believe it or not, those of you that have had amazing weather for the last few weeks, as you'll have seen in the vlogs when the girls came to Cornwall, it was warm, but it wasn't blue sky and sunshine. There have been had loads of sea mist. There's obviously been storms out at sea, and if you yeah. ever look on a map where Truro is in Cornwall, you're basically in between both coasts. So from the north and the south, it's literally it all like... goes in a channel in Truro, and you're like, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> where we live is like five to six miles one way to get to the coast, and five to six miles the other way to get to the coast. So yeah, the sea mist just basically comes to us, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Anyways, another reason for vlogging was a bit of an overview of what we have got coming up, which is a lot. We are super, super busy, which is another reason why I decided to take a bit of a chilled weekend this weekend. Not complaining at all, because we absolutely love it and thrive off making content that you guys enjoy. And However, we we've got a super, super duper whooper whooper amount coming up over the coming weeks, which is insane. We had the quiet time of lockdown and not really knowing what content to make, yeah. what to focus on, what to like show you guys. Um, and we thanked you all for your support in the last vlog really and said how lovely well, it is that you still you enjoy time. it. Yeah, well, we thank you every time. We are very, very grateful. Yeah. Very, 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 very. And we're delighted to tell you that we've got some super exciting vlogs in the pipeline. With the VE squad. With the other girlies too. And with some companies that have kindly and requested. That you've probably never seen on, sorry. sorry yeah, before. that's very true. Somebody else that you probably haven't seen on our No, haven't seen on our vlogs. She hasn't been on our vlogs. No, before. she hasn't. Yeah. So, yeah, watch this space. Also, as I always say, ensure you're in subscribed to Emily's channel too, because the one that we are both filming today will be airing there within the next week, I would say. Yeah. Got to give ourselves a little bit of time to get the content as the person that's in the vlog said earlier, pucker, not a term <laughs> we ever use, is it? <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled, make sure your notifications are on. Also, you may have seen us drip feeding it in very slowly. Do you agree, Spritey? <laughs> Over the last couple of weeks on our stories, if you follow us on Instagram, if you don't already, ensure you do. Ding, 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 ding. An exciting new sponsor. We're not giving anything away in anything that we're wearing today, no, we are. We're but good. keep your eyes filled. It's a super exciting. We may have already used one of their products. Ooh, super exciting. If you think you know, then guess below. Oh, that reminds me that Meg hasn't done her poem yet. Tina's going to be texting her in a minute. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, she's slacking, isn't she? Yeah. She's the last one for Cornwall vlog upload as well. I wasn't the last, which I actually <laughs> really thought I was going to be the Both last. Emily's and Lucy's Cornwall vlogs went live in the last couple of days, so there will be links below to them in the description. Make sure you go and check them out if you haven't already. Do ensure you like, subscribe, comment, and all that malarkey, because it is very much appreciated. Your kind words, I can't reiterate enough how much. I loved the comments on the arena. Of oh, Chris's comments, Yeah, right? I've just replied back to every single one of them this morning. Oh. Um, I'm reading them as well, yeah. Just, awesome. It does, it's, you read them and like, it's so funny because we always say it's so nice of you guys to take the time to comment when we think actually a comment takes so much less than it takes to make the vlog in total, yeah. but it still means so much. Without a doubt. And it's like Chris was being called a sweetie. <laughs> and it's like, like, I've, I've never called him that well. myself. <laughs> yeah, but I've got him trained well, but he's clicking away for us. Oh, I know. And, and he wants us to do well, yeah. and he wants us to come away like pleased yeah. with our training session. Yeah. We need to do that again and very he's, soon. He's come and seen so many lessons, and he now thinks that he knows it. Yeah, he thinks he's the, the upcoming Fred Scala trainer, <laughs> yeah. doesn't he? We did actually have a lesson last night, um, but it was a mad rush from work, so we didn't actually capture any content. We just focused on progression, oh progression, progression, progressing. Yeah, lots of hair coming out here. Right, this is going to end up what was going to be a short and sweet vlog being ridiculously long. So I am going to love you and leave you. I only actually came here for one thing. Well, two things, to drop that off and to pick something up, but I can't show you what that something is. Um, over and out for now. Goodness. Sees ya shortly when I decide what I'm doing. I was going to say, what is... <laughs> I don't know how much we vlog? can show, exactly. Well, we can show a little bit of what we're doing tomorrow with the ponies, I expect, can't yes, we? Yes, we can. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I know. I've just messaged Lucy and, and Meg to see when they are doing it. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, but I'm going to enjoy my pony hack. I'm not going to film anything. All right. All right. See you when we see you. Shortly, yeah. This is so unorganised. You for, said your not, vlog was here, there and everywhere. Not for you guys, because it'll just go... Next. We're back! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I've literally just pulled in the driveway and our summer house was delivered this morning. And I've only been gone out about an hour and a half and I had no idea that you would put it up this quickly, Robbie. How have you managed that? I did it all. Wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this! That's amazing! It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You pleased? Yeah. Wow! I literally... <laughs> I've literally only been gone about an hour and a half. Haven't I? Uh, that's right. Maybe a bit longer than that. <laughs> okay, Tina's not very good with time. Maybe about two hours. Yeah, I got to Emily's at about 11. It's now one. Wow! These men can. Oh. Yes. Right, I'm not going to get too close actually. I'll show you once it's all done. That's so exciting. It's made an outdoor area. Oh, <laughs> the cushions are drying in the sun. But made an outdoor area more hospitable, hostable, hostable. You know the word I mean. Super impressed. Clever boys. <laughs> I'm excited. Not gonna lie, I thought the only thing that would be needed from me was to stay out the way, Robbie, not to help. <laughs> what do you want me to do? a fair few hours later done in my bit of helping Robbo as much as I could I'm not the world's best helper at um, carpentry DIY and now I'm heading out to get as you can see oh, I've changed my um, top half because I'm going to get out and get this brand video filmed give you a quick clue Whoop. Ah, you might have seen it you might not get the boy in and um, yeah get cracking I've just filled up I won't show you what's in the background there puss puss is water for him so he's got nice fresh water i really need to give my tack room a good tidy too i'm not even going to turn the camera around in there because it looks like a bomb has hit it as has hi bunnies hi dinks we could use you as the model actually should we use you or banksy who should we use what do you think what do you think? You could do with a good groom, couldn't you? I need to get that tool back off Emily to do you because you are getting winter coat already too, aren't you? Hey? Yes, you are. Hence, you're really warm and stood in the shade. Okay. Might have had a bit of a fail doing what I was doing. I'll give you a clue. Actually, that's quite good. It looked a lot worse a minute ago, especially with the... um other things that I got it on. Might have given away a little bit about what I've been doing. Hidden all the evidence in the background. Um, but yeah, giving up, going inside. We've got friends coming around for an alfresco dinner this evening. So I'm gonna go and make myself non-horsey. Out you go, please, Dinks. Go on, you can go past him. Once I've got the Shetland down. Go! Go! <laughs> Don't pretend Banksy's gonna get you because we all know he's not. Silly Billy. Right, good boys. They can have their dinner later. I need to get clean and changed and start cooking. It's now Sunday and I have officially been the world's worst vlogger this weekend. Um, I think the social media detox was much needed. Look. All systems go, the roof is going on on the um, summer house. And mummy and I have been busy painting making the inside i don't even know what color to call it really oh it's quite echoey when i do that it's like a gray but actually it almost looks a bit mauve which we didn't think it was what is it it's called 
much over, over that have you got on the bottom? Per Stone. Mm. But yeah, I've been the world's worst vlogger this weekend. Um, just feeling, not feeling the love for it, if I'm honest. And um, honesty is always the best policy. So I thought that as it is now, quarter to five on Sunday afternoon and I haven't vlogged diddly squat today, I thought that I would probably um, just choose to end it. We are going to hopefully, touch wood, once that's, that last bit of felt is on, we are going to go for a cycle to the nearby pub for dinner. Oh, you want to come with me? Come on then. Of course you do. Do you want to go down the lane a minute with me? Do you want to go down the lane? Okay. I was going to go and get the horses in to rest their bellies from the grass for a bit, but seems Sammy wants to go down the lane. Yeah, I've really struggled to pick my camera up this weekend. I don't know why. Um, been off social media too. I've just been enjoying a little bit of chill and much needed, I guess. It's not that I don't enjoy vlogging. I love vlogging. <laughs> Just for some reason this weekend, it's just felt like I've needed downtime and not needed, not wanted, not had any desire at all to pick either my phone or my camera up. So I guess I just haven't, but it does feel a bit weird. It feels weird not being excited about doing it because I'm always excited about doing it. I love it, but I don't want to come on camera and not be my bubbly, jolly, normal self um, because I can't imagine you guys Oh look, now I've started talking more, I feel better, but I can't imagine you guys enjoy watching me being doom and gloom. That's not going to be fun. So it's better just to leave the camera turned off and save it for another day, not feel pressure to do it. Hi, Banks! Every weekend. This doesn't zoom, so you won't see him, but look. Can you see him? Banks and Dinks, what are you doing? Are you scratching your leg? Your legs look very white. <laughs> That's a clue as to what I was doing in yesterday's video. Another clue. Um, but I managed to film that all good yesterday afternoon. That was good. Somehow, yeah, managed to film that, but just had no desire to pick the camera up and film what I've been doing today. So I just didn't until now. And I was like, oh, I really ought to end the vlog. <laughs> but I'm just blabbing. So I will end it here and hopefully be back to my jolly, perky, enthusiastic self by next weekend. Fingers crossed. Actually, we've got something to film on Tuesday, so hopefully I'll be nice and jolly by then too. Oh, Banksy's coming over now. Hello, you can hear your mummy. There he is. Hello, my baby. Could you hear your mummy? Hiya. I was coming to bring you in. But Sammy um wanted to come sniffing, didn't you, Sam? You okay? You're a good boy. Right, so yes, here endeth this vlog. Sorry, it's not been too much of an exciting one. Fingers crossed, normality resumes next week. What you like to, what you like to